we tend to have rules for most areas of our life. How much to eat, how much to use TV, Netflix, or social media, how many hours to sleep, etc. Such rules help us stay disciplined in our lives. Similarly, following specific rules about saving money, spending money, and investing money can help us better manage our finances. Let's delve into 8 rules of money that you can apply to manage your finances smartly and prudently. Rule number 1. Understand what type of investor you are. There are several types of people who invest in the market. The list includes speculators, intraday traders, short-term investors, long-term investors, and so on. They all want to achieve different rates of return, take different levels of risk, and their approach vastly vary from one another. Let's understand how they are different in terms of their approach with an example. Google is one of the best companies in the world. Its stock prices have risen by more than 240% in the last five years. Now, ask yourself, at what price will you buy Google stocks today? The answer will depend on who you are. If you are a long-term investor planning to invest for 10 to 15 years, then it wouldn't bother you if the stock price of Google has risen or fallen by 0.5% or 1% in a day. However, if you want to buy and sell that stock on the same day, even the 0.5% rise or fall in the stock's prices could be a crucial consideration. Therefore, you must recognize what kind of investor you want to be in this market and stick to that process. Rule number two, increasing time horizon is the best strategy to grow money. Most of us have come across books, blogs, and videos that term Warren Buffett as the most successful investor of all time. His net worth is over $100 billion, making him one of the top 10 richest persons. However, Buffett is not the greatest investor in terms of the rate of return he has delivered. Buffett's average annual return is less than 25%. At the same time, Jim Simons, head of the hedge fund Renaissance Technologies, has compounded money at 66% annually since 1988. No one comes close to this record. Yet Simons is 75% less wealthy than Buffett. What is the reason for this difference? The simple answer is time. Simon started his investment journey very late, and he has had less than half as many years to compound as Buffett. Therefore, good investing need not be earning the highest returns. Good investing can also be making pretty good returns and staying invested for the longest period possible. That is when time becomes your friend and brings the magic of compounding with it. Rule number three, your behavior decides your success in investing. Investing is easy when you keep it simple. Invest long-term, create a diversified portfolio, watch your costs, and let compounding work its magic. It is quite a simple process, right? However, this simple process of investing becomes difficult, as emotions like fear and greed often drive our investment decisions. Fear tempts us to sell during market corrections. Greed prompts us to step up investments during market rallies to earn more returns. And as a result, these emotions become a hindrance to our financial goals. If you manage these emotions, you are all set to excel in investing. You will stay disciplined, and the focus will be on achieving your goals instead of falling prey to short-term volatility or noise in the market. Rule number four, risk and returns go hand in hand. The trade-off between risk and return is pretty straightforward. With higher returns come higher risks, while investments like FDs carry minimal risk. The post-tax returns barely beat inflation. Creating wealth requires beating inflation with a good margin, and that is why taking the risk of investing in assets like equities is essential. That said, you must be careful about how much risk you are taking. Too much of anything isn't a good idea either. Ask yourself how much loss you can see in your portfolio and take a path to grow your money based on that answer. Rule number five, budgeting is simple. Spend less than you earn. Every lesson on personal finance begins with the need to spend less, save more, and trade current pleasures for future comfort. But does that mean living a miserly life? Where should you draw the line? The answer is not that complicated. It lies in the simple rules of budgeting. All that you need to ensure is that your income is more than your expenses. It's that easy. You need not live a miserly life. You can buy a car, house, or any other thing or experience as long as you can afford it. The simple formula to remain financially healthy is to spend less than you earn and save enough for the future. A prudent way to save is to make savings a target and not a residue. It means you should save first and spend later rather than spending first and saving later. How much you need to save can depend on your age, stage, primary financial goals, family situation, 
etc. Rule number 6. Never borrow money to invest in the market. Borrowing money to invest might be tempting, but it involves substantial risk. Markets are always unpredictable, and even the most reliable stocks can fall in the short term due to a rumor or world event which has little to do with their business. So, if a company's stock prices aren't in their control in the short term, why should you take the risk of relying on them to pay back your loans on time? In addition, nobody can predict how far stocks can fall in a short period. Following a plunge, the stock market may take 5 to 7 years to recover its losses. Such situations are undesirable, as you will have to pay the loan back with interest while your investment has also lost value. You can easily avoid all this hardship if you don't borrow money to invest in the market. Rule number 7. Choose your circle wisely. The people you associate with can significantly impact your earning potential. To make more money, you must surround yourself with individuals with a growth mindset. They can influence you to invest and make more, but most importantly, hold you accountable and push you to your limits. Associating with like-minded people who share your money values can help you build a strong network that can work to your advantage in many ways. First, you will have people you can seek advice from whenever you have a dilemma. This will help you avoid pitfalls that can cost you. Second, they can help you find new opportunities to make more money. They can share their money-making secrets, mention you in rooms of opportunities, and help you make connections that can advance your career and increase your income. Rule number 8. Mistakes happen. Pick yourself up faster. Making money is an ongoing process, and you will run into handles once in a while. You might make decisions that affect your earning potential or lead to loss of income. When that happens, you need to be able to pick yourself up faster. The best way to do that is to accept that you are human and humans are prone to making mistakes. You risk trapping yourself when you choose to beat yourself up after falling into a pitfall. You will start developing self-doubts that might hinder your future growth and prevent you from taking risks. You need to pick yourself up as fast as possible when you make any financial mistake. To do this, you first need to acknowledge your mistake. This will help you identify the root problem and help you salvage what you can. Next you need to forgive yourself. Reflect on your mistake and put it behind you. Finally, use your mistake as a learning moment. It will prevent you from repeating it in the future. There is no easier way of making money. It's a long and tedious process that requires patience and commitment. It requires that you have the know-how to develop plans that will help you generate money and increase your earnings. But it also requires discipline to follow through with your plans.